Hello, my dear students and viewers. Welcome to my channel, Scorpio Class. If you are looking for Class 10 Social Studies notes of revised syllabus, then you are on the right platform and watching the right video. As in this video, we are going to discuss Class 10 Geography Chapter, India Natural Disasters, Question and Answers. This video is going to be very helpful and informative for you all as it's going to give all the question answers of this chapter. So stay tuned till end and do not miss any part of it. And my dear viewers, if you also want all the other lessons notes of class 10 social studies and of English subject, you can visit the description box and find the playlist link wherein you will find all the notes related videos. The link will also be shared in the i button above. Now let's get started. But before that, if you are new to my channel and watching my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Now let's get started quickly with the first main and we have answered the following questions. The first question is, what are natural disasters? Answer, naturally occurring destructive incidents resulting in loss of human life and property are called natural disasters. Second one, what are the effects of cyclones? Answer, the effects of cyclones are, cyclones are very destructive. Sometimes the life of the people of cyclone hit areas get totally changed. They cause large scale deaths. Ocean tides inundate the inland water bodies and make them salty. Crops get totally destroyed. Transport links, electricity supply, and the daily life of the people get affected badly. Cyclone hit areas suffer from infectious diseases leading to huge casualties. So these are the effects of cyclones. Now let's move to the next question. What are floods? Answer, when there is heavy rainfall and excessive melting of ice, the volume of water increases in the river, leading to its overflow. This is called floods. Next one. What is landslide? Answer. Land mass sliding down the slopes from mountains or hills are called landslide. Next question. What is earthquake? Answer. Vibration or movement of the upper layers of the earth due to the pressure created inside is called earthquake. Next, what are the causes of floods? Describe flood prone areas. Answer, the causes of floods are the uncertainty of monsoon rainfall sometimes gets heavy rainfall causes floods. Accumulation of silt in the rivers leads to overflowing of water on either side of the river causing floods. Breach of dams or retention walls leads to sudden release of large quantity of water resulting in floods. Rivers changing their course can also cause floods. Heavy rainfall during cyclones can also lead to floods. Earthquakes in the sea also causes floods. So these are the causes of floods. Now let's discuss flood prone areas. So the flood prone regions are found all over the country. The Ganges and its tributaries like Yamuna, Gandak, Kosi and Ghagra rivers cause floods in Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. Damodar and Suvarnarekha rivers cause floods in Chhattisgarh and West Bengal states. Brahmaputra and its tributaries Dibang, Dihang, Subansiri and Lohit rivers cause floods in Assam. So these are flood prone regions. Now next question is what is coastal erosion? Mention its management. Answer. The erosion of land by the waves in the coastal areas is called coastal erosion. It can be managed by prohibiting sand mining in coastal areas. 
constructing retention walls along the length of coast wherever waves are strong stocking of large rocky boulders along the coast to reduce the impact the most effective method of preventing coastal erosion is by growing mangrove forests along the coast so these are the definition of coastal erosion and its management now next question write about the effects of earthquake and precautions to be taken answer the effects of earthquake are the loss of life and destruction of property obstruction to transport spread of infectious diseases increased tidal activity tsunamis and change in reverse direction so these are the effects now let's see how, what are the precautions that has to be taken the precautionary measures to be taken are restricting construction of multi storied building in earthquake prone areas using very light material for construction of houses in these areas constructing houses to ensure stability providing basic amenities to the quake affected areas disconnecting power supply in the event of an earthquake so these are some of the precautionary measures that can be taken while earthquake occurs so with this we come to an end with the question answer session of this chapter i hope this answers were informative and helpful for you all if you found the video interesting helpful and if you liked it do hit the like button and share it with your friends to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more such videos thank you